Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. So, you shot a video, it wasn't on your phone, but you want to turn it into a YouTube short? Well, let's look at how to do that in Kden Live. Let's check it out. Okay, so you've probably heard all the buzz that's going on, how there's new features and things coming around with YouTube Shorts. They're really trying to compete with TikTok and get it on the Shorts market. So that may raise the question, if you do a lot of your content creation not on a phone, not something that has the, uh, the vertical ratio or the square ratio, how do you get that done with a project you're building not on your phone? Um, so you actually do have options, and I'm going to direct you over here into Kden Live. This is a fantastic free open source tool that can help you get this done. Now, this will put you into a place where you have to do some trimming. So keep this in mind as you try to convert a project into this format. But it's a way that you can get in and make a short video. Now, for right now in YouTube, the requirements are that it has to be under 60 seconds and it has to be either in a fully vertical ratio, which is a 9 to 16, I believe, or it has to be a 1 to 1, which is a square ratio. All right. And I'll show you how to do both of those in Kden Live. So over here, really what you do is when you start a new project, um, you would want to go down to the bottom space under the custom area. The other areas don't have this breakdown, so you'd want to scoot down to the custom area and have a look here. And the two choices that you have for alignment are either the vertical or the square. Um, coming down here, so the verticals are towards the bottom. This is alphabetical. It informs you on the right that these are the 916 ratio, which is really widescreen, just turned up. <laughs> um, and there is also these square ones and you have those both of those in either the 30 or 60 frame uh, rate depending on how you're shooting and what's going to work for your project so i'm just going to do a, a 10 a square 1080p 30 frame and bring that in all right and then i'm going to bring in some video and it's going to ask you a question if you want to change the project because it is <laughs> determining that your video is not matching those conditions that you've just set. So you don't want to do that in this case. You want to keep it as it is. And in the upper right hand corner, you'll notice how this is a square because I chose a square one to one ratio. So as I bring this in, it will attempt to fit it <laughs> within those constraints. OK, but if I don't like the bars, what I can do to in effect here is I can do a position and zoom. I or I could do a transform. Um, these are available effects, by the way. These are just my favorites. Um, you could do either of those. And you could make that fit a little better. Uh, what I'm going to do here is we're just going to make this bigger so it fills the screen. And I'll move back in here. So this is what I was saying, that you may have to to think, take this as a consideration that the video is, is not going to fit exactly the same because that's a different aspect ratio. But this is essentially how you get it done, is that you would shape this as it would best fit within those constraints, whether you do the full vertical, which is the uh, bars on the left and right, uh, or whether you do it this way, which is square. I kind of like square because it's a little bit more symmetrical and you don't have to deal with bars one way or the other. If you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? So really then from here, it's just a matter of rendering it out and you can keep um, whatever format works best. It already understands the aspect ratio coming out from this point. So you export and then you can upload into YouTube, provided that it is under 60 seconds again, that it meets either the square or the vertical ratio and that you have tagged it. You've done a hashtag with shorts. Uh, that's important to include in there as well, so they can pick it up uh, with their crawling mechanism and then put it within that space of YouTube. And that is it. Nice, quick and easy tip to get you going uh, and to get you within the uh, the shorts market. So if that was helpful, please consider giving me a thumbs up. 
Also subscribe if you haven't done that already and leave a comment. Ask a question if this is not clear or if there's other concepts around this you want to explore and we will get to them and we will be back. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you at the next video.